Okay, hello, we are here at SN Spiel 2018 at Wide Wizard Games with Rob Doherty and Peter Scholz. And we are lucky enough to have a chance to see the pre-production version of Sorcerer. Probably the only one in the world at the moment. The only one in the world, yeah. yeah. Okay, so Bakers, this is what Bakers, sorry, Bakers, this is what you can expect to Bakers get. also. <laughs> bakers, so. Bakers, gamers and Bakers. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> This is the version of Sorcerer, so shiny one. Shiny one. We can look at it a little bit later, and uh, just uh, maybe a few words from Rob and Peter. So uh, um, this has been uh, a, a long and painful process, but uh, but really a labor of love. Uh, we um, when we when I first saw Peter's early prototype of Sorcerer, the graphic design and art. Uh, was you so mean yesterday or four years? <laughs> Yeah, four years ago, uh, you know, the art and the graphic design was so beautiful. I really wanted to have a final game that had that was uh, uh, really a beautiful game and that you would be proud to own. Um, so uh, we got the um, the first version of the pre-production proof uh, back in the summer. And uh, had I just said, "All right, print it," um, we'd have it uh, for backers by now. But there were some things that weren't quite right. It was pretty good, but there were some things that weren't quite right. And we've been working non-stop with the factory to get all those fixed uh, and some of them we have updated stuff with it in this uh, and others where uh, we're getting uh, we're getting proofs on um, but uh, it's going to be going to print very very soon and there's some awesome stuff in here Peter will tell you all about yeah um, <laughs> from the uh, from the other side when I was first in Essen and I see Rob I, I know him from the videos, you know, from the from the magic things and so on. And I just uh, thanks to Bresto, he he just bring me here, and I have the opportunity to to meet this to meet this beautiful gentleman here. <laughs> and uh, and since then we, we 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 have a long road. I mean, a long road of development of the game. And this is the pre-final thing. So it it's. It's like you know, it's like a newborn baby, not born yet, <laughs> but uh, it's definitely I'm impressed, uh, and and I hope you you all bakers that that bake this, uh, that help to bake this, um, uh, you will be, you, your patience will be definitely rewarded. So let me ask you: when you say soon, do you mean still this year, or do no, you no, mean I next mean year? So right now, um, they're sending me uh, some samples, uh, specifically um, uh, new copies of the uh, the player boards to uh, uh, fix the some of the color issues to make them uh, pop a little bit more. Um, and um, uh, and some uh, and some new uh, new copies of the cards to make the color just a little bit brighter and such. And assuming that when I get those samples, they look good, which uh, you know I'm hoping they will. We've been going back and forth with them uh, on color. We've sent them some samples of what we want the color to look like. Um, so assuming that looks good, then I tell them to go to print. And everything's ready. The dice, the things that take a long time, the dice uh, and such, those are already made. Um, so they, those are way in. So all they have to do now is print the uh, paper stuff, the cards, the uh, the boards, etc. Um, so the factory will start printing as soon as I approve uh, those proofs. Now it's possible I'll get them and the colors won't be good and I'll have to go back and forth with them another time. But assuming that it's good, then we'll be going to print, um, hopefully, end of October, early November time frame, uh, and then um, it will take, uh, um, depending on how the speed of the factory, uh, somewhere between five and eight weeks for the games to be uh, ready to go. Um, and then, uh, then we can uh, ship to the fulfillment centers um, so we should for Australians and uh, people in Asia um, we'd be shipping relatively soon after that because it's a very short transit from the uh, from the Chinese factory for them and then for EU and US backers we'll be waiting a little bit longer because uh, of the, the time on the boat but um, I, I'm always cautious when I give these time estimates because if uh, 
uh, if something goes wrong, we obviously have to fix it and make it right. And uh, in production, there's all kinds of little logistical issues that can uh, that can snag you up. And uh, if you're willing to have a substandard product, you can just, oh yeah, that's fine, it's good enough. But I'm not. I want it to be right. So um, so we'll have to uh, um, we'll have to see. I will uh, at, when I know dates, I will post them in updates on the Kickstarter. Um, so, for example, when the printing starts, the factory should be able to give me an estimate of how many weeks they think till they're done printing and how many weeks till they're done packing. And, uh, and um, those will just be estimates, but we'll have a better idea. So, um, it seems like we are. We so, are that was a very long answer to a short question. <laughs> but, it, but it seems like we are speaking about, I mean, about the end, uh, about the about the the end of the process i mean shipping and so it took, yeah. it took longer and uh, i think we are we are we are always speaking about the next months yeah so it's a uh, maximum i mean yeah yeah so that's uh so that's uh, that's what i mean by soon and and for 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 peter and i we're we're close to the end of a very very long road i know uh i know the backers have been waiting a very long time and we're going to try and get it to you as soon as we can but for but for peter it's been far longer than that there has been uh, uh, you know so much work on the um, little little graphic design tweaks we did for okay and play <laughs> uh, and play tweaks and but I, I really think the game is uh, is is much better for all the extra t- extra years of work that uh, that we put in yeah. so Okay, so just to summarize from the point of view of the backer, I would be really happy to get already this version of the copy, but the guys from Wide Wizards are making it perfect, so even improving it. So I can tell you... We can sell you the, the copy in the lunchbox for... <laughs> <laughs> I, I remember $5, $5, when we came here four years back and Peter had a version in the lunchbox with the sticker on it and he was hoping to find a good editor for that. I believe he's now very happy seeing this kind of product as, as the final result. Seems like I find a good editor for so it. So yeah. definitely a great job and uh, we, we are all looking forward to receive our copies. So. Thanks a lot, guys, for having you for the Academy of Board Games from Slovakia. Uh, this is in English, so we hope to... Yeah, 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 yeah. So we can just say hello to all fans and uh, people that are watching this video. Just say hello to all fans. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thanks.